All right, property distributions and frequency tables. The table at the right shows the speeds of cars as they pass a certain mile marker on Highway 66. The speed limit is 65. What is the total number of cars that pass the marker? What do you do to find the total number of cars that pass the marker? What would you do, Bailey? Huh? I'm still asleep. I didn't sleep long enough. How would you find the number of cars that passed up the marker? Add all of them. Thank you. You'd add them up. Add 2 and 12 to make 14. 14 and 23 make 37. 37 and 13 make 50. Well, there's 50 cars that passed it. What's the probability... That a car stopped at random would be traveling faster than the speed limit. Well, probability is the number of favorables, 13 out of the total number, 50. If we reduce that to a decimal, it's 0.26. So it's 26% of them would be stopped and possibly given a ticket for speeding. Okay, a frequency table is just using a table with numbers to figure out probabilities. Okay, that's all it is. The relative frequency is the ratio of the frequency um, of a category to the total frequency. So, here's the type of music preferred and the number of people that preferred it. So, the first thing you need to do is add up all the numbers. And these add up to 40. How many prefer rock music? Well, that's 10 out of 40, or one-fourth, which is 25%. Okay? So that's what we'll be doing today. So how many, what's our percentage for classical? Well, first we write the fraction. What would be our fraction, Edvera, for classical? Five over 40. And if we reduce that down, that is one eighth, which is 0.125 or 12.5% and so on, okay? So, um, probability. A student conducts a probability experiment by tossing three coins, one after another. The results are below. Using those results, what's the probability that exactly two heads will occur in the next three tosses? Which ones have exactly two? Well, this one has exactly two. This one has exactly two. And this one has exactly two which is 7 plus 6 plus 12 is 15 out of the 50 total tosses. 15 out of 50 is 3 tenths. Okay. Probability distributions um, basically set up um, the probability for each time for you. Okay. So it gives you what you need to know. All right, let's go to the problems that you will be seeing. Okay. The results of a survey are on the right. What's the relative frequency of preferring radio? Well, first thing you have to do is what? Add up all the frequencies. What's 58 plus 48 plus 10 plus 28? Somebody with a calculator, please. <laughs> 144. So you put radio, which is 48 over 144, and let the count write it as a fraction on your calculator, press equals. And let your calculator reduce that fraction for you. Because we want a simplified fraction. If you do not simplify your fractions, I'll count them wrong. Okay, so make sure you reduce your fractions. Your calculator will do it for you. What do you get? One third. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay. Internet. Well, this one has different numbers involved. 52, 50, 10. So that's 112 plus 28 is, no, 102 
No, 112 plus 28, which is like 140 for this one. How many prefer the internet? Well, that's 10 out of 140, which is 1 out of 14. Okay. Um, these are basically the same. Now, for number four, you have to write the probabilities for all these. Okay. The data collected for new students show that 29 are under the age of 18. So there's a 29 that goes here. 398 are between 18 and 20. 294 are between 23 and 27. 125 are between 28 and 32. And 154 are over 32. So we have to add all those up. What do all those add up to? One thousand. So the probability of the first one is twenty nine out of one thousand. The probability of the second one is I don't know. Type three ninety eight over a thousand as a fraction and reduce it. What do we get? One ninety nine over five hundred. Two ninety four over a thousand would probably be. Ooh, 147 over 500, 125 over 1,000, 1 eighth, and 154 over 1,000, 77 over 500, okay? So that's a probability table. So you put the probabilities in at the end, okay? What's the probability that a chosen player is an infielder? So in this case, a one player is randomly selected to sing the national anthem. You wouldn't want to select me to sing the national anthem, that's for sure. What's the probability that it's an infielder that's chosen? Well, you add all of them up. There are three pitchers, four catchers, nine infielders, and eight outfielders. Add them up, there's 24 total players. The probability of being an infielder is 9 out of 24. If you divide them both by 3, there's a 3 out of 8 chance that an infielder will have to sing the National Anthem. 29 preschoolers were asked what their favorite snacks are. The results are shown in the bar graph. What's the probability that a preschooler chosen at random did not choose bananas. If they did not choose bananas, they chose something else. Now bananas, there's 11 bananas, four trail mixes, four celery and cheeses, and 10 popcorns. So this adds up to 29 total. So if they did not choose bananas, that's these, which is 18, or 18 out of 29 are not bananas. Okay, this one's another um, probability distribution where you have to write fractions for all these. So you add these up and list them as fractions here and then answer the question, okay? And then change whatever your fraction is to percentage, okay? Change whatever your fraction is out of these to a percentage, okay? So... There are just seven questions on the worksheet. It shouldn't take you that long. It's not super difficult.